get to as many calls as possible. Time to hit the phones. Let's uh, let's take our first phone call of the day and talk to Sam in New Jersey. What's up, Sam? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. How you doing, Ben? Doing uh, good. I just want to report on uh, something I saw in the news earlier this week. It was all over uh, the mainstream media that um, in Georgetown University they found that phospholipids uh, or a lack of phospholipids in the blood is a very good predictor of Alzheimer's disease, 90% oh. uh, effective predictor. Interesting. So, uh, Tell the yeah. list, just for the listeners, Sam, uh, lecithin is a source of phospholipids. Exactly. Phospholipids yeah. is just a fancy way of saying phosphorus with fats, and in fact, that is why lecithin has its, its fat-dissolving properties. And phospholipids are, as we, we talked about that a couple months ago, how important they are for electrical energy. And yes, indeed, lecithin and phospholipids are very important for brain and nerve health. Thanks for sharing that. And where, where did you get that information from? It was it was all it was on a lot of uh, magazines and uh, news articles in the, in the mainstream media. Uh, but it's interesting how the main uh, author or uh, the principal investigator what his conclusion was. Yeah. He said, well, now now that we can predict Alzheimer's uh, so well, uh, we should give uh, patients that are low on uh, phospholipids. We should give them uh, Alzheimer's drugs early. I, I, you know, I did see. Now that you mention it, I saw the headline, and I didn't read the article where they talked about predicting Alzheimer's disease by doing blood tests. They were talking about phospholipids. Exactly. Uh, you know, I should. When I saw that, I just I kind of tuned it out because of uh, it just struck me as being just more medical nonsense, diagnosing things. But I probably should have read that. So they were talking about phospholipids in there as being predictive for Alzheimer's disease. That's very interesting. Yeah, less than well, and basically, phospho- basically what you've been saying. You know, it's, uh, you know, nothing new for us. Nothing new if you've been listening to the program. That's right. right. You know, that's interesting that you bring that up because what I've noticed, and, and thanks so much for your call, Sam. Appreciate it. Where in New Jersey are you, Sam? Uh, you and I have talked in the past, haven't we? I think we have. Yeah. When are you going to come out here? To Jersey. I will be out there for Mother's Day and, and for my dad's birthday in May. I'll, I'll give me, send me, shoot me an email with your phone number, and I'll yeah. get in touch with you. Okay, yeah, maybe Sam. we could set up a talk or something. Uh, oh, yeah. I'd love to do that. Are you doing a health center or something? I would love yeah. that, Sam. Are you doing longevity at all? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not part of that. Okay, so even if you're not, I'll, do a, I'll be glad to do a talk. Shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there, and I'll get a hold of you. Okay, buddy? Well, maybe, maybe I can get involved and, you know, something else that way. We'll have a conversation about that. Thanks so much, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go here, bro. Have a beautiful day. All right, uh, that's, that's very interesting. Uh, less of th- oh, I, was, I was actually saying, but uh, what I've noticed is when, when you hear about things in the, world of, in the mainstream world, usually biochemists and nutritionists and people who study these things have known about them for decades. And in the case of lecithin and phospholipids, it's, in the, it's been in the literature uh, how important phospholipids are and lecithin is for the nervous system and for the brain for many, many years. So it's kind of interesting that the mainstream model, mainstream folks are just getting wind of this. Thanks for pointing that out, Sam. I, I should have read that article, and I didn't. Okay, let's see. Anita in Connecticut. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on? Hello. Hello, Anita. What's cooking? Hi, Ben. I want to thank you for sharing all of your wonderful knowledge with thank us. You. It's really appreciated. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for thank you for thanking me. How can I help you today? Uh, I'm going to be 83 next month. Congratulations. I was doing pretty good, Ben, until yeah. I burned my finger on the stove about five months ago at the on my pinky finger at uh-huh. the top of the fingernail, and it didn't look really that bad. And the doctor said it was healing fine, and all of a sudden, we realized it was not healing well, and we tried a lot of different natural kind of things, and nothing was doing, and they were worried. So they decided they had to put me on SEPTRA. I can't swallow pills. Everything I take, I have to open up. So they gave me a liquid SEPTRA. Liquid SEPTRA. That's yes, a, for listeners, after, that's an antibiotic SEPTRA, right. also known as Bactrim. Well, right. if you have an infection... Uh, first of all, antibiotics have some anti-inflammatory properties, and that can help heal things. And if, but if you have an infection, that's really where you need an antibiotic. You know, I, I, I'm, I know I rip on drugs all the time, and I really don't like prescription drugs. But antibiotics and pain pills, those are the two classes of drugs that really we need to be, we need to be very grateful for, especially pain pills and antibiotics, too, uh, when they're used carefully. So you may need to – I can't tell you on the phone whether you need the antibiotic no, or not. No, that's not my real problem now. Oh. 
Well, let me give you a quick. Let me give you a quick that. idea. Let me just say a couple quick things, Anita, and then I'll let you continue. Okay. All right. Number one, the fingers, the pinky especially, but the fingers and the extremities, the toes and the fingers, those tend to heal the slowest when we're when we have nutritional deficiencies because the body will shift all the nutrients to the core of the body and away from the extremities. So it's not unusual for the fingers or the toes to have uh, uh, problems, especially with healing, if you're under if you have some kind of nutritional deficiency. So that's what I'd be thinking of, uh, especially around fats. And then secondly, you might want to try a little topical zinc oxide or topical uh, uh, fatty vitamin C, lipophilic fatty vitamin C. If you shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com, I'll send you back a link uh, where you can get some fatty vitamin C. Uh, oh, and that's for anybody listening out there, for burns, for cuts, for scrapes, for things that don't heal, fatty vitamin C and zinc oxide are your two most important topical treatments. Go ahead. I didn't mean to okay, interrupt Okay, that's you. okay. I just want to get all this in. Okay. Uh, after about five days, I started getting the diarrhea. I called my doctor, and he said, is the finger any better? And I said, no. He said, go off of it. Okay. Eventually, now I'm losing the nail. It's almost off, and oh. the finger's looking much better. But what happened, and I had no idea if there's any connection, about four or five days after I stopped the uh, septra, my lips started bothering me on the bottom on one side. It was very irritated. Pimples? You couldn't, you Pimples. couldn't see anything, and I thought, oh, maybe it's too much apple cider vinegar. And then about 10 days later, which is now a month, my whole mouth started burning like I'd been laying out in the sun on the beach, and the whole bottom started exfoliating. Okay. And I right. think I have exfoliative chelitis. You might have chelitis. That's exactly yes, what I was going to tell you. I don't, I've done so much research, and I can't find any hope Food. of getting rid of it. It's bad. Here's the deal. The mouth, around the mouth, is a very good indicator of problems in the digestive system. Right. Everything you're telling me tells me that you're not absorbing nutrients. Right. And, and you may have a problem with the digestive system as well. So hang tight. And we'll, I'll answer your question here okay, when we come back from our break. Anita. Hang on. If you're on hold, we'll try to get to all our callers here when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. And we'll be back right after this. Don't go away. If you suffer seasonal or environmental allergies and your doctor has told you that the only answer is medications for the rest of your life, Dr. Peter Glidden has an alternative solution that doesn't involve drugs with terrible side effects. One of my favorite add-on products to the 90 essential nutrients for people who are suffering with allergies is a product called Cell Shield RTQ. Cell Shield RTQ. The Q in that product stands for a biochemical called quercetin, and quercetin is a natural antihistamine. It doesn't flag out your immune system like antihistamines do. To manage your allergies without a lifetime of prescription or over-the-counter drugs, order Longevity's Cell Shield RTQ today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. 
But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. It's time to get your green on with the great green sale from Freeze Dry Guy. Now through St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, cases of delicious freeze-dried vegetables, green beans, and green peas are now on sale at veteran-owned freeze-dryguy.com. You don't need to be Irish to feel like you have pots of gold with a healthy supply of these delicious, nutritious green vegetables. They're perfect for your emergency preparedness needs or outdoor activities from camping to RV travel. Green beans and green peas, easy to prepare, easy to enjoy, and now easier than ever to buy. How about some green backs in your wallet or purse just for ordering? Act now, and Freeze Dry Guy will give you $25 in survival bucks for every case you purchase by St. Patty's Day. So get your green on now, veggie lovers. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or log on to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. We are the premier independent talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GC. All right, Anita uh, in Connecticut. A little lip problem, colitis. I think you might have a problem with uh, some nutrient absorption, Anita, and mm-hmm. that may very well have to do with uh, the antibiotic, the round of antibiotics that you took. Could have thrown off the bacteria. Are you using a probiotic supplement? Oh, I'm all, uh, yes, Dan. I had what they told me was terminal cancer, oh, and I have had chemotherapy for 11 months. Oh, but you're doing and okay, I don't it sounds know like. what it did to my intestines, but that was 33 years ago. Yeah, you sound, no, you should have recovered at this point. I so, think so. Yeah, so but are you using a probiotic supplement? Oh, all the time. What are you using? Uh, I have one that's uh, Nature's Way, 100,000. No, it would be in billions. It would be in billion units. Uh, yeah, 100,000. 100, Billion uh, units? Hundred thousand, a hundred billion. A hundred billion I units. I can't swallow a pill, so I have to chew everything or open Ooh. it up. Get some fermented foods then. Start using. I have it in my refrigerator. You're using miso and tempeh sauerkraut and all that stuff. Uh, I, you can use pickles, right, Bobby? Absolutely, anything yeah, fermented, that's anything. What I have. Mix it up. Mix yeah. it up. Get a few other types of fermented food as well. Okay. So, you, and you're using the apple cider vinegar. That's great. Yes. The, the B complex is especially important for all fast moving tissue, including the skin. So in addition, I hope you're using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's that, one of the most. And the colloidal minerals. Both. Minerals are good too. Yeah. Uh, but stay they on the BT, stay on the BTT, but go get yourself something called a B100. Where in Connecticut are you, by the way? Uh, Stanford. Okay. So go to, uh, go to a health food store, Whole Foods out there in Stanford, and get yourself a B100 and take it every couple of hours, a B100 capsule or tablet. I like the capsule a little bit better. And I then can take open them. it up? Absolutely, you can open okay. it up. It doesn't taste very good, but, yeah, you can open it up. Okay. And then you want to start doing uh, high doses of vitamin C. I, I take pro- that all the time. A couple thousand grams a day? Yeah, oh, over. Over, so that's good. Four, uh, four or five thousand grams a day. Yes. Okay, good. Stay on that, and then make sure that you're getting your essential fatty acids. Mix it up with lecithin because there's a chance that you're not yep. going to be absorbed. Oh, you're got doing that already. Lecithin, I take. You're, and you're doing that already. Yes. Are you how? How's your the digestive thing? Are bowel movements and gas and bloating and all that kind uh, of stuff? That is fine, except I have a silent, uh, um, a silent reflux. Okay, then that's telling me something's still not getting processed correctly. And, I, and when I lay down, when I go to sleep, I wake Harper. up and I'm a little nauseous. Then I wake up and yeah. eat and I'm fine. You got something going on there. So your body's not processing nutrients. So you're going to have to nail that down because, as we said so many times in this program, it's not what you take, it's what you absorb. Right. And it sounds to me like you're not processing your nutrients. Try to liquefy everything as much as possible and yeah. use a smoothies and soups and that kind of thing and yeah. then correct the digestive problem. Treat the colitis as secondary to some kind of malabsorption of nutrients and or a digestive issue, maybe leaky gut syndrome or something along those lines. How about glutamine powder? Oh, every day. How about, Z, how about the Z-radical from Longevity? Uh, 
I take a, 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 yeah, I take that. You're on the Z-Radical, a couple I'm capsules on, a day? I'm on Life Extensions, not... not. I don't know. I can't speak to that. Life okay. Extensions is a great company, but I can't mm-hmm. speak to the specific products. So I'm just going to tell you what I know about, okay. and that's the Z-Radical All and right. Aloe Juice and Noni Juice. I that, take Aloe every day. Very nice. You might also want to make yourself a nice uh, a tea out of something called Colt's Foot, C-O-L-T-S-F-O-O-T, Colt's Foot, which okay. has a nice... And also something called Slippery Elm, both okay. of which have a nice soothing quality for the digestive tract. You want to focus on digestion and nutrient absorption, because I think that's where your problem is. And Anita, I got some calls here I want to get to, okay. so I got to move on. Thanks, Thanks so much so for much calling your kind words. I appreciate everything. Take care and good luck with that. All right, uh, let's see if we can get to uh, finish up some calls here. Caroline in North Carolina, welcome to the bright side. 